Hey YouTubers, it's Charlie. So the big news is, is that Tom Felton from Harry Potter is going to be on The Flash Season 3 as a regular. Something of an antagonist to Barry, so I'm just going to explain what's going on. I have a few ideas about who he might be playing. The casting announcement that everyone was spreading around named him as Julian Dorn, but I think that's a big misdirect. That's not a name from the comics. It seems like he's playing, air quotes, an original character. And while that might be the case, it just feels like The Flash wouldn't do that. Like, they're so comic booky that, of course, I'm just expecting this to be some random name that they use to cast the actor, and then we'll learn about the mysterious secrets that he's keeping. He's basically, his character is going to be working with Barry inside the Central City Police Department. There are a number of characters in the Flash comics that have started out working with Barry inside the police department that have later become villains. But just because his character sounds like he's going to be a villain doesn't mean he'll end up being the main villain. I just feel like he's going to be another Captain Cold type character, someone who's not quite a villain, not quite a hero. He's just going to be like the bad boy inside the police department, which pretty much guarantees that Caitlyn Snow is going to fall in love with him. She always falls in love with the bad boys, so the minute she gives him eyes or says something about him that makes you think like she's interested, you know shit is on. Like, oh, okay, he is very clearly the villain this season, so lay all your bets now. Will Caitlyn fall in love with his character this season? If you really want to get funny about it, you should say all of the women are going to fall in love with him on the show. And when you hear the pitch for his character, like someone who is mistrustful of Barry's good-natured ways, this season, Flashpoint, is going to be all about the mistakes that Barry makes while he's trying to do good things. Now, you've all probably heard about or read or watched the Flashpoint storyline. Think of the Flash Season 3's version of Flashpoint as just being like the Flash collateral damage. So I'm expecting some of Barry's relationships to suffer as a result of what he's done with his mother. But they'll have some fun with that. It's not going to completely change the tone of the TV show. It's still going to move like The Flash moves. It's still going to have that bouncy, funny feel to it. So it will still feel like The Flash that you've been watching for the last two years. It's just that some of the character dynamics will change. And they'll use it as an opportunity to create new villains. Like people that may not have been villains in the previous timeline before Barry changed it. So the obvious difference is this antagonist character that they're bringing on. And just to be clear, they haven't called him a villain. They just say he's a character who is mistrustful of Barry and tries to learn his secret, but he is also hiding a secret himself. So they could go any number of different directions. It just sounds like if they're going to do something different that they haven't done before in terms of villains, given the types of characters that Tom Felton typically plays, beyond Harry Potter, he's known to play very edgy characters. Like he's leaned into the Draco Malfoy curve, so he doesn't really play characters that are like Cisco's. So that's why I think his character is going to be something of a Captain Cold type villain, meaning that he could be a potential rogue, which, you know, number one possibility would be Dr. Alchemy. The second version of the character was created by Jeff Johns, worked inside the Central City Police Department in the crime lab with Barry, and then eventually became a rogue, but he didn't start out that way. So if they want him to be a comic book character and they don't want to do another speedster, that would just be my top pick. But a lot of you are like, what if he's playing Godspeed? Because in the comics, there's a new villain who's a speedster called Godspeed, who is Barry's partner inside the police department. But that's a very different story. If it looks like they are going in that direction, though, I will totally explain what's going on with Flash Rebirth and that storyline. But that's happening right now in the comics, and usually the TV show doesn't do that. Usually it will just pull characters' names or particular storylines and just mix and match things. So whoever he does end up being will probably be a combination of a couple different characters. But let me know in the comments, which character do you think that he's playing? Do you think he's going to be one of the rogues? Do you think he's going to be Dr. Alchemy? Do you think he's going to be another speedster? I just, I feel like it's too soon for them to do another speedster. Just every single season, the main villain is a speedster. That just feels too cheap. And we have Wally West. Like, if they're going to do more speedster stuff, they would probably focus on Wally West and Jesse Quick. Because Jesse Quick is coming back as a series regular, in addition to Tom Cavanaugh. They didn't really explain who Tom Cavanaugh is going to play. He could be another version of Harrison Wells. He could be a completely different character. I think he'll be a version of Harrison Wells, but it just remains to be seen. They'll probably tease more when they drop the Comic-Con trailer. And that will be like the first trailer for the season. But just as a teaser, there was this funny thing that Iris West just said, or Candace Patton said, who plays Iris West. She said she really wanted to play a villain if she could at some point. I don't necessarily think that's a teaser for season three because I think they recorded this before season two was over, but they've only just posted it now. So I'll, I'll play it right here real quick. I'm sure you can say that too. Yeah, hi. <laughs> Carlos talks about you guys all She's the time. So he just won't stop. I know. I really won't. Yeah. It's a problem. If you could be a superhero or villain, mm -hmm. which one would you be? In real life, I would definitely want to be a superhero because 
who wants to be the villain in Duh. real life, right? I know, right? But on TV and in the movies, I would definitely want to be the bad guy. Ooh. I would. For real? Yeah, sometimes it's good to be bad. I don't know, I think it's fun. Yeah. Captain Cole, he's like my favorite. Yeah, he's I so could totally bad. See, like a bad Candace Yeah, Brown. I think I would play a bad, badass. No, a good badass. Yeah, a good I'd play a good, you know what I meant. Yeah. So you can see it's them just having a little bit of fun. And most of the actors are on vacation, meaning that they recorded this a long time ago and they're just posting it now. So yes, I am expecting Iris West to be different when Barry goes back to the future, but I don't know that she's going to be a villain. Although that is a really exciting thought, it would put Barry more in a position like Cisco, who is just weak in the knees for Golden Glider. And the interesting thing about Golden Glider's character is is that she just got cast on another CW show, so it might be easier for her to cross over with The Flash, so we might see Golden Glider come back. But giveaway time, congratulations to this week's giveaway winner, Jared Hashimoto. You win a $20 Amazon gift card. Be sure to private message me on the back end of my channel so I can get your contact details. So I'll leave you guys with this. It's just the, the biggest rumor that I've heard is that the main villain will not be a speedster. So I think that's why Tom Felton is one of the top picks. It just feels like such a big casting for them to get that they would give him one of the biggest roles of the season, which usually ends up being the villain. So what I'm expecting is for the next couple of weeks as we get closer to Comic-Con, they'll just continue to announce new characters that they're bringing onto the show. So whatever ends up happening, I'll totally do videos for it. So be sure to subscribe to get everything. So while you guys wait for me to post my next video, you can click here for my review and Easter eggs from the Batman v Superman Ultimate Edition cut, and you can click here for my Game of Thrones Season 7 predictions. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Let's high five. I'll see you guys tonight.